Alright, let's see how ridiculous this is gonna be. Oh boy. Take my weapon out, please. Uh, Dormer Scrap, don't want it. This black candle. It's, is it black or is that blood? I think the candle's black and there is blood too. Hi, Purity. Oh, no. I, Alright, I wanted to kill that one, but no. Did I not even hit this guy? Okay, no, I did. Just making sure. I'm just making sure that I actually hit the people I want to hit and not my friends because that could be a problem if I accidentally hit them because the names at the top of the uh, screen keep changing a little bit, so I'm like, uh-oh. We good? I think they're marked as essential, so they can't die. Which is good. That's always good. I'm not going to complain about that. Hero of Nern, Happy Warhammer, sure. Oh, game freaked out for a slight second. It pulled up my toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is with the crystals? Samantha, can you decrystallize this place? That'd be great. I don't even know what that is. Or what it's supposed to be. It's so weird and out of place. I mean, I, I know where the crystals are from. The crystals are specifically from that one uh, Daedric quest. Oh! Fortify, carry weight, potion, recipe. Sure, why not? It's when you go into the... Oh, I've got to go down. I should wait before I go into the reservoir. Sure. Um, It's from the one danger quest when you go into the... The soul gem. The uh, black star or whatever the hell it is. Alright, what's up? Those blue crystals aren't natural. I know, yeah. They're the work of a mage. Like Vincentius. Uh-huh. Uh, what can you tell me about Vincentius? He's a high-ranking member of Project Purity, and Master of Conjuration. We believe he's the one who organized the attack. Don't know how, but the intel we're getting about him is coming from the top, not the scouts. Can we break them? They're as hard as metal. It would take hours for us to cut through just one. We'll need to go around so we can regroup with the other team. I mean, I kind of figured we had to go around. You didn't need to... <laughs> I mean, it's also... I like that there is an explanation to them rather than it's just like, Oh, look, crystals, and then I have to keep going. I should wait before I go into the reservoir. Alright, what do I need to talk about? Lilith, what's up? Yes? Um... Hold position. Holding positions. Follow me. Following. There we go. Maybe now I can go in. I should wait before I go into the reservoir. Wait for what? I have to wait for the others? Uh, regroup with the other teams on the opposite sides of the fortress. Yeah, I can't do anything. Let's see. Hero of Nern, note number two. Sure, let's read this. Can someone explain to me why we have to burn all these bodies? They're dead. Why waste time sending out a smoke signal for all of Tamriel to see? Lugging them up ladders is killing our backs. Some of those vanguards do the heavy work. I meant to take it. Yeah, no, so we can't break through this. I gotta go into the reservoir because it's the only place to go. Like, look, it's like, yeah, head down there. I should wait before I go into the reservoir. Yeah, sure, fine. Let's wait five hours. Why the fuck not? Let's do it. Alright, 8 p.m. We good? I should wait before I go into the reservoir. Hey! Yes? Hold position. Holding position. Yeah, you stay here. I, I'll go ahead. Or not. Alright, no. So I reloaded my game. I reloaded this save when I come into the fort to see if... To see if I missed something, like, conversation-wise. It was like, no, she literally just said, hey, let's keep going. We I gotta go around so we can regroup with the other teams. So yeah, I can't think of what else there is that's keeping me from going. I should wait for wait. She literally just said we should go around. It's like, well, that's the way around, isn't it? Unless, oh, nope, never mind. This is the way around. That's my bad. Ignore me. Ignore everything that I said because apparently I'm dumb as hell. I just didn't see this way. That's my bad. Uh, okay, I do have a crossbow. You just... Boop. Don't mind me. Oh! Oh, they died immediately. Meanwhile, you guys are just standing behind me like, Yeah, good job. Over here. 
Yeah, you guys, you guys take him, alright? I'm letting you guys do all the fighting, because I'm not sexist. And as someone who's not sexist, I believe in female warriors. And you just kick their fucking asses for me, why don't you? Doing a good job at that. So I'm not gonna complain. Hey, here we go, here's the marker. Talk to Lilith. Lilith, get over here! Lilith, are you all the way in the back? Letting everyone else do the dirty work? Yeah, that's what I did. We'll need to have someone go into the reservoir and activate the master override to lower all the gates. Oh. I brought several water breeding potions. That's where I'm going. Which one of us should go? Uh. Oh, this is interesting. I'll go. Understood. Here. Take these two potions of water breeding. It's very easy to get lost in the reservoir. Use them only when you need them most. As soon as you lower the gates, we'll regroup with the other teams. I was just worried that if I went, or if she went, that, um, maybe she would get lost. Maybe she would die, and... Lilith, Lilith is like the one person, aside from Kasha, that seems to be kind of on my side. Or like, or with me, so I'm not gonna let anything happen to her. If it can be avoided. Alright. Gotta find the switch. <gasps> Big breath! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, this isn't too bad so far, because I can just stay above water. I don't see what the issue is. Can I just literally stay above water this entire time? Did I just go in a circle? I think I just went in a circle. I did. Alright, great. Let's see. So it looks like I need to take... Wait, these are overlapping areas, aren't they? So... I gotta go this way. I have to find my way down, and then go east. Have to find a way... Here we go, here's down. Okay. And now, east. Wait, I'm not going east yet, because I can't. I see why she gave me the, uh, the potions of water breathing, because I am absolutely gonna die down here. Yep, alright, let's pop some of those potions real fast. Oh, there is apparently a, um... A, uh, mod that does bring in an earlier version of Sky UI into, uh, Special Edition. So I am definitely going to... Oh no, is this going back up? Oh no, this looks like it's the right way. Oh, please tell me this is the right way. Please tell me. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, hey! Purity Vanguards are dead. Damn it, I want their fucking badass armor. Look at it. It's beautiful. I want it. Stupid cars outside. You piece of shit. Alright, gotta find Kasha. That armor is badass. I like it a lot. Oh, I just realized you're dead too. I don't know how they died. That's peculiar. Should probably pop that potion now. But yeah, that's something I'm gonna definitely look into is getting that version of Sky UI on my game just because I'm... I mean, obviously, I'd prefer to have that UI over the vanilla one. It's just kind of a mess. <laughs> it's, it's not a mess. I shouldn't say that. It's just... After using Sky UI for so long, you're like, yeah, no, I don't know why anyone would ever want to use this again. Uh, except, like, you know, you're on console or something like that, but hey. Let's face it, the UI was made so that it could work well with consoles, not necessarily so much being super optimized for PC. But it makes sense that- Oh, 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 oh! Hey, whoa there, buddy! You just kinda came out of nowhere. You literally spawned in after I did. You were weak as fuck. I am okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Are you guys okay? Uh oh. Wait, are those Okay, those are heroes of Nern. I Okay, they just went on without me. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, Kasha, why are you all alone? Why are oh you're just waiting out here. Alright. You guys do all the heavy lifting. Oh, I'll kill the Argonian. Nope, you guys got that, don't you? Yep, you got him. Alright. His robe's a little stained. 
no sign of him. Hey, Kasia. Kasia. Oh, God. They got Kalisa. They got her. Wait, who's Kalisa? Calm down and take a deep breath. I need to get you out of here. What happened? I don't know. She was right behind me. Uh, follow me. Where? Where are we going? Upstairs, to get some answers. From Serenity? But they closed off the grotto. We aren't allowed. If this person right here could stop staring at me, that would be great. She's very intimidating. No time to explain. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, no, listen. You don't understand. I don't understand. You. Siren. The way you're looking at me is very disconcerting. You have odd... You have very odd eyes. You have very slanted eyes. I can say that. I'm Asian. But that's why it's so disconcerting. It's like... It looks like a stereotypical, like, Asian set of anime eyes. And it's a little odd. Do you want to put those, uh... Those hands away? I don't know who you're trying to kill. Everyone's dead. Hey, it's Lilith. Now's your chance. Protect Kasha and get to the upper floors. The rest of us will fight off any additional reinforcements. Alright, you got it. Oh. Additional reinforcements, like right there? Great job. Yeah, no, you didn't look behind you to see if there was an assassin and a vanguard standing right behind you? Or how shit are they at their jobs if they didn't even notice you? At least he's not super strong. Thank God. Alright, upstairs we go. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What is with your skin, sir? What the hell is with this guy's skin? I'm really concerned by it. The fucking Hulk up here, just beating my ass. Well, fucking thank you, Hulk. Alright, I need to heal up. Do I have... Okay, I had fast feeling at five. I hear them before the, beh before behind that wall. No matter. Oh, his death will come as soon as he has it's fulfilled Bosca. his destiny. Then nothing, not even the prophecies of the Elder Scrolls, will be able to save him. We will kill him, and you'll be doing it without my heroes. Consider our actions retribution for your incompetence at Jonestead. Ouch. I wasn't aware that he was more than just a guardian that Marcus had hired. I didn't even know what was going on. But you did, when you met him outside Snowvale Sanctum. Your admiration for this man has proven you to be an incapable leader. Thus, I am denying your request to transport a cargo from the island to innocence. Huh? So you deny the one thing that can defend your home and defeat the sirens? How does that make you any better than I? Simple. We actually have a plan. Our alchemists have Are you listening to this? It budget. might be important. It's only a matter of time before we reveal it to you. And when we do, you'll be given the opportunity to use it. And if I don't want any part in your plan, what happens? Then your request stays denied. Fine. But it better be good. Believe me, Commander, it will be. Now, shouldn't you be fighting alongside your warriors? What warriors? They're all dead. I'm leaving. <laughs> what? But you he's, can't. He's you just gonna step through this door. Here. Just watch. He's gonna unlock this door specifically. Be like, no oh, hey there. Your purity assassins mean nothing to me. Enjoy yourself, Vincentius. Cowardly piece of filth! You too! Guard the door! And unlock it, please. Wait, is he gonna open the door? Oh! I forgot I had an expert level lockpicking. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. I can't imagine that there's no key. Otherwise, it would just be like, well, I'm kinda fucked now if I don't have expert level lockpicking skills. Also, I have no lockpicks left, so... Hey, there we go. Hi there! Oh, vanguards! Hey, how you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, if you could not do that, that'd be great. Oh, that actually hurts a lot. That actually hurts quite a bit, so please... Get off me, buddy. Ooh, right through the gut. I want their armor. I want their fucking armor. 
It's bullshit. Uh, roll of paper. Operation Defiance. My sons, we have waited a long time for this moment. From the day I spoke to you, as your newly appointed leader, we knew that war would be the only way to stop her expansion. Many feared what defiance would bring, but you were the only children when you learned the truth. Today, you are all fearless men, ready to walk into the darkness. The knowledge that I imparted to all of you has been used to make miracles. The warriors have been groomed to become towering icons of honor and courage, and our alchemists are nearly complete with the most daunting project this organization has ever undertaken. The greatest marvel is that we have accomplished so much in complete secrecy and isolation for every sacrifice you've made and every life you've left behind. You've given this world a hope for a future. For these 44 years of service and patience, thank you. It was all of you, not I, that have done the impossible. Were we not past self-indulgence, then you would all be revered as gods in the new world. Today, do what you were trained to do. As sentinels, usher in the future so we can all be friend. Oh, freed. I, I thought it said friends for a second. That wouldn't make sense. Together with your new brothers from the Heroes of Nern, you will make your stand against the lies that have been spread since the dawn of time. What lies are they talking about? Fort Pazarath, where we first tasted temptation 200 years ago, is where we will announce our allegiance to the only truth in life. Do not falter when you strike the sirens down. Whisper it in their ears as they fall, bleeding this truth, and feel the shudders of their... Matari. I, I'm really curious to find out what the hell's going on, because it's been teased for so long now. The time she spent unaware of our victories attests to her overconfidence and an arrogance. She will feel the same fear she tried so desperately to invoke within us. Today is the day we ride the waves of chaos in Skyrim and sever the limbs of the beast. Tomorrow we will destroy her heart. As we make our final act of defiance and trigger the end of this world, we shall stand over her bleeding carcass and we shall scream the one truth in life. Purity. Commence Operation Defiance, Innocence Command. Hey, that's a nice map of Skyrim you got right there. I have a map of Skyrim just like that. Got it framed and everything, because I'm a bit of a nerd. Who would have guessed? Let's heal up. Incendius really made a break for it. What's with all the blood? Who is bleeding this much? Jesus Christ. Look around you. What do you see? The victims of a cause gone too far, or the sacrifices that the world demands. How can you do this? You're a monster! Yeah, where's Kasha's mom? I wasn't talking to you. Tell me, Commander. Make me understand your point of view. What do you want? I want some of those sweet armor plates that you have on all your vanguards. Have you lost your mind? Can't you see what you're doing is wrong? I want to understand the truth about Matari. The truth is infinite. Oh, great. To He's gonna bullshit me. It's to lose yourself to the darkness and to know that everything that you see happening before you is a lie. Now let me ask questions that lead up to the truth. I don't know what you hope to gain, but so be it. Ask. Just tell me what she is. Why the attack on Jonestead? To kill Marcus? Why the brutality here? There's no need for this. It's clear that Matari is your real enemy. Why take it out on the sirens? Consider it mercy killings, if you will. This is war. They fight for the enemy. They die. There is no easier way around the issue. To turn them against their mistress is something that would require time. And time is a dying commodity. So you're just a dick and you're killing them when you could very easily just be like, hey... You gotta stop fighting for her. Why the attack on Jonestead? To kill Marcus? You bring that up for good reason. It seems like another attack on the Pinder family. But it is so much more. We're done with the master plan of slowly prodding the beast until it bites back. That was done decades ago. Marcus' death was a statement. The first of many. Uh, why the brutality here? There's no need for this. Brutality against who? The sirens or... Disgusting to look at, yes. But their bodies had to be burned to ensure that they can't be used for more nefarious purposes. They wouldn't have suffered as long as they surrendered. Unfortunately, none of them did. Yeah, you attacked we them. We had no choice. Why do you want Kashi alive? Oh, there's more questions. I didn't see those. Uh, why do you want Kashi alive? Not anymore. 
I'm sorry, child. Oh. You are among the sirens now. Like them, it's too late for you. He was trying to save her. She could have died in peace with us, Commander. There was no need to drag her into war. She wanted to join the sirens. That wasn't my call. She asked. Ask in ignorance. The two of you so foolish to get involved in something that has escalated past the rivalry between two clans. This war is no longer about the Penders. Why, Fort Pazarath, you could have made your return more subtle. Why do I care if he makes it subtle or not? Capturing Pazarath was our moment of glory and a symbolic moment of defiance. There is something poetic about returning to the home where we first tasted defeat. And we know that to truly touch Matari's mind, you must be poetic with your victories. If you could just tell me what she is already. Notice, every single purity member that you killed on your way here knew that this would be their grave. We knew that there was no way we could possibly hold on to this fort for so long. If you could stop the cryptic bullshit, what sir. What we believe could be achieved here was to kill as many sirens as possible. Just tell me. Until you appeared in the war. What the fuck is going on? So, how many sirens died today? Uh, there was the one. One. Her name was Kalisa. Strange and convenient. When faced against incredible odds, only one person dies. It's like Stalin said. And did she happen to bear any signs of skepticism towards the sirens? It's... She Wait, no, I just want to talk. Of illusion around you. Every siren is essential to this mission because you are present. It's like Stalin said, one All death... God damn it, stop talking, sir. No matter how hard you try, you could not say. It's like Stalin said, one death... Is a tragedy a million is a statistic I'm not I'm not saying I like Stalin I'm just saying I remember he said that boom now if Vincentius could stop interrupting me that would be great so are the heroes following their orders the heroes left you don't need to ask me that you know the answer yourself they fight because they know we're right and you're wrong no they left you they know you're wrong too bullshit I'm done asking questions I want the truth the truth just fucking tell me who Matari is it's not that fucking complicated, guy. Can you? Who do you think you are? A scholar? A priest? A king? A warrior? A god? I think I'm the guardian here. All men and women of all walks of life have tried to understand the truth. Just tell me what the fuck she is. And None of this cryptic bullshit. of an Elder Scroll pales in comparison to what we know. To know the truth is to lose yourself to the void. Your mind would not survive. Yeah, but you know the truth and you're stupid as hell. At least help me in understanding, all right? I'm tired of this shit. You are beyond help. Oh my god. You're stuck in this narrow belief. You're so far up your own ass, sir. You think that what you're fighting, this Matari, can be won by physical strength or verbal threats. Words cannot sway her. Knowledge will not scare her. Only defiance. That is what we're doing. It's one of those, like, writing tropes where it's like, you can't understand. It's beyond your comprehension. And I've seen it happen so many times. And it's happening now where it's like, you can't, if, you, uh, if I tell you what Matari is, you'll lose yourself in the void. And I remember Mass Effect 1, spoiler alert to haven't played Mass Effect 1 yet, where you are watching the playthrough and you haven't gotten this far because I haven't gotten that far in the playthrough, when... They're like, you can't possibly understand what the Reapers are, it's beyond your comprehension. And then in 2, it's like, oh no, it's actually a very simple thing, and it's not that complicated to begin with. Genocide, I know. Samuel told me. A crude way of putting it. But yes, that is exactly what it is. But it is the only way. Damn racist. To die free is far better than to be playthings for sick and maniacal purposes. Maniacal. At least that way. The beast can die. There is no reason to live if you can't fight bliss. And for her, bliss is the only reason she can't exist. Uh, how do you plan on going about killing everyone? Your methods are ridiculous and extreme. I won't let you carry them out. You speak like a philosopher, a very poor one. Uh, I came for straight answers, not long-winded babble from you, old man. Yeah, that pretty much sums, out, sums up exactly how I feel. 
There is no easy answer. You're not answering. And I've tried to understand since the beginning. All have gone either insane or believe themselves to be gods. Listen, I'm already insane. <laughs> What's the difference? I'm an insane god. If you will not tell me, then I'll ask Serenity. The being that chose to attack us rather than guide us out of madness. You have learned more from me than you can from her. I've learned nothing. She chooses who she speaks I've to. I've learned absolutely a nothing. Word to me. A sign that she is still as emotional as the rest of her clan. She has learned nothing in the time she has spent in solitude. I've learned nothing in the if past ten minutes. through a disregard for lesser beings, be my guess. It's obvious one of her kind has already spoken to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have stopped to ask me questions about Matari. I like how Kosh just kind of standing there. It's like, I don't know what's going on. Like, they just keep talking. I'm just standing here waiting. So what will happen to you now? I'm going to kill him. What do you think I'm going to do to him? I die. You won the battle today by your presence alone. A shame since Bezeroth could have been the site of two major defeats for the Sirens. Instead, it was a victory won by a pitiful, dull display of swords and shields. Don't you grow tired of it? The killing? Actually, yes. Then let us be the ones to do it. We will be the last. I will not kill you. As you wish, I will kill you. Thanks for saving me the trouble. You're just gonna let me kill you? There is no point in fighting. You've already won. Okay. Alright. As you wish, I will kill you. Thank you. Into the darkness I go in peace. I am used to it by now. I mean, I'm... I'm... It's very simple, actually. <laughs> Goodbye, Vincentius. We actually just met, and honestly, aside from the fact that you kind of annoy me by not telling me shit, I really had no personal qualms with you.